that note, I'd like to invite my friend Jim Arnold, one of our elders here, up to the stage. Um, Jim has quite the reputation of pursuing friendships um, and really being a leader uh, in that in our men's ministry. And so he's going to share with us this morning. Jim, what compels you to, to initiate and, and start making friendships? About 30 years ago, when I was 46, we lived in Lufkin. I was sitting in a Baptist church, and then about 53 men decided they'd go to Promise Keepers in Boulder. On the bus ride back, I sat next to a guy for 25 hours. He was nonstop talking. I got to say a few things, but his questions he asked me were kind of pointed and detailed. And we got to be friends, and that changed my life. Uh, I knew a lot of men at the church, but I really didn't know them. And I really didn't want someone else to know me. I felt if they knew me, they wouldn't like me. But God has given us community. God has given us relationships. And I know that if you have a relationship with another man, it doesn't replace your relationship at home or with your children, but it'll certainly enhance it. It'll enhance your relationships all around. So don't be in a corner like I was where Satan had me going solo outside the home. Uh, don't be cornered. Uh, seek out another man. Be real, not religious with. Thanks, Jim. And when you meet up with these men, what, what do you guys normally talk about? Well, one thing we don't talk about is sports. We don't care about, and I don't really care who your favorite sports team is or what's your handicap if you play golf. I really don't care. Uh, but what I do care about is how are you living life now? What affects your life now? How are you managing life in this age that you're in? How are you doing with your wife? How are you filling uh, the gaps with your children? And uh, what are their names? What are their ages? What do, what do they like to do? I want to know the man. I want to be real with him. I want him to be real with me. And we're going to leave the facade outside. Thanks so much. And so if someone was hesitant to start pursuing relationships, what words of encouragement would you offer them? I would say uh, take a chance. Try it. Uh, I'm actually going to be at the next step station if somebody wants to try it. That'd be great. Uh, don't be in a corner. Satan has got us there, and he wins when he has us there and we're not in community. We're here for community and for fellowship. We love because Jesus first loved us. So uh, do your family a favor. Get to know another man and let them enhance your relationship with both your wife and your children. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jim. Trish, do you mind thanking Jim for us?